Hey guys, what's up? Spartan95 here. Welcome to day four of our Seven Days to Die console Pacific Rim Seed playthrough. That's a long intro, isn't it? <laughs> so I actually already did this intro once, but my recording software crashed and I'm pretty sure the video file is corrupted. So I'm just going to redo it. We're only losing a couple hours game time. Uh, what I did is I made a new, I made a stone shovel, level 56, and I came over here and I dug up some uh, clay soil. Here's my hole right here. So I have 424 clay soil. And a zombie broke into that. I watched him overnight break into that, by the way. So I grabbed some stone also. Picked up some golden flower tea, or some golden flour so I can make some teas. Um, I also made a level 55 stone axe. I got that upgraded overnight. Uh, made a new wooden bow. Oh, man. New arrows. Uh, is this a wandering horde? So I made a, new, a better bow. I made a bunch of arrows. I also made an iron reinforced club. So we're in business I don't know if this is a wandering horde or just um, from the town. We'll deal with them real quick. I want to get the forge made this morning. That's why I'm doing all this stuff. She's dead. Oh, I love iron arrows. Love them. I missed. Oh, jump out of the way. Okay, I need to go to stone arrows now. Used up all the steel and iron ones. Can I get a kill shot on this guy real quick? Yes. Dead. Dead. Oh, I love the headshots. Nothing. I also did carve up the bodies that were around my base last night, too. I just kind of went around and carved them up. Uh, so I have those, all the rotten flesh and bone from them. Where is that other body at? Um, I don't know. I know he was a little further away. It was those. Oh, here he is right here. We'll grab him real quick. Ah, some water. Thank you. We'll carve him up too. I'm not trying to carve up every single body, but I'll carve up what I can to grab the uh, the rotten flesh and everything. So, anyway, like I said, I'm trying to grab enough stone and clay soil to make the forge. I have 46 stones, so I need to grab some more uh, stone to make the forge. I'd like to get that put down. Also, somebody in the comments was gracious enough to tell me that I had missed the uh, the morgue off to the side or whatever that is off to the. There's a room I missed still, so. We need to raid that also. Uh, but I'd want to get this forge put down first. That's pretty important to me to get that down so I can start making some iron arrows, which are awesome, and some forged iron too. Boom, that should be enough. Yeah, 112 stone. Okay, cool. Do I have my leather on me? I do not. Let's go grab my leather. I've got to make a bellows. Close that so nobody comes in behind me there. Uh, so let's grab my leather. Where the heck is that? There it is up here. And I need short iron pipes. And is it duct tape too that you need for bellows? I can never remember. Bellows. There it is. It is wood, leather, and short iron pipe. Okay, so no no duct tape. You don't need that at all. That's how you make it. You can also make it with animal hide too if you have enough animal hide. But honestly, I've murdered every deer this side of the Mississippi. That's why I have so much leather. And plus the leather that was in the hotel. So grabbing that early game is uh, always a plus. And so while that's crafting, we can throw some stuff back in here. I think for the forge, we just need short iron pipes, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right. Don't quote me on that, though. Don't at me. All right, one second. So go here, recipes, there's the forge. Yeah, so you need small stone, lump of clay, bellows, and short iron pipe. Okay, that's all you need. I get so confused. The new alpha, you need like a wooden log and like, you know, an old retired pirate's wooden leg and a claw hammer. I don't know. I just need all kinds of stuff. You don't need a claw hammer. No, that's for the workbench. But <laughs> Okay, our forge is done. Right here. Here we go. Let's just throw that down right. Um, Let's put it down over here. Actually, let's put it close to our storage so it's easy to get to. We'll put it right there. How about that? All right, and then we need to put our iron and our clay soil in there. So we'll grab our iron. I have some raw iron too, don't I? Um, yeah, I do. Let's actually put the raw iron in there first, and then we'll put the because you get better you get better return from the raw iron. And we'll put our clay soil in there. We need an anvil. Anvil first, always what you need. So, boom. We'll throw this in there. What I usually do is I grab half a stack. I throw half of it in there, and I usually take half away. Usually that's enough. That's 182 right there. So that's 30 minutes. All right, we're going. Let's go check out this other 
part of the building that I forgot. I hacked it down pretty far last night. Where is my flashlight? There it is. This is the morgue, or the, or the crematorio, or whatever we're going to call it, where they cremate people. Hey, shotgun shells and some more steel arrows. Cool, and we can search this. Nothing in there. You can actually grab some pretty easy coal from this, too. What is that nasty noise? Zombies walking through flesh, I guess. What I guess it is. Hey, some more coal, too. That's pretty much it. Talk about a good place to hang out, though. All this stone. I mean, 1,200 hit points. This is a great building. This is a really, really good building to be in. I like it. All right, let's put all this stuff up. What is our forge doing? Is it still... I can't make an anvil yet, can I? I'm super close to be able to make an anvil. Um, that's all right. We'll let it smelt down. I'd like to go check out more of this city. I got somebody beating on my funeral home. Everybody's dying to get in. Ah, uh, I get it. Nothing there. Uh, what do we got? Where are you? Are you at the front door? Oh, he's at the front door. Like a, like a gentleman. Like a distinguished gentleman. Good job, Carl. I'm proud of you. Just for that, I'll kill you a second time. Okay. Let's uh carve this body up, since we're here. And I did level up. That's five points we can spend. Is that searched? That's not searched. All right, short arm pipe. We'll grab that. Cool. All right. Well, and I brought my glass jars with me, and there's water at this house. I already know. So let's just grab some murk. Let's grab some water. Bring that down. And this, uh, I'm gonna grab this. I'll grab the y y yellow flower too. The pea flower. What do you want to call it? You can. You can just jump. Oh, usually you can jump over that. You gotta find the elevated part. Usually you can jump over this fence. Is it over here? Where you can do it? Let's see if I can do this part. No, must be a different POI I'm thinking of. Darn it. All right, let's just break down part of the fence here. Um, usually I can jump over that. This looks like a different POI though than I'm used to. Let's see. Yeah, this is a different pool. I'm not used to seeing this pool. This is totally different. Okay. Let's search this. Um, okay, we'll turn that into an arrow. Nothing over there. Let's see if there's anything down below. Sometimes you can get lucky and there's a safe down here. I don't see a safe, though. Okay. Can you fill up? There we go. Good job. Now we should be able to jump over this. Okay. Now that we have that, let's go, like I said, let's check out the rest of this city. We have a hotel there. Ostrich Hotel. What part have I not checked out? Really, all of it. <laughs> so, um, Alright. The hotel's nice. There's a, like a little general store over there. I see. Looks like a smaller city, which there's nothing wrong with that. Let's turn that into an arrow. An iron arrow. Quick. Yeah, nothing wrong with a nice small city to start off with. Not going to be crazy like a hub city or something. There's another water source there if we need it. A water tower. Crackhead. There's a pig. Where's he going? Let's see if I can nab him real quick. Oh, he's going to run away. He's got a little more hit points than the deer, doesn't he? Oh, I got him. Look at that. Look at that shot. It's just a lucky series with the with the uh, the bow, I guess. Just a lucky series. All right, we'll carve this guy up. I'll carve this up. I need to make s some more bones. I got somebody coming over. Oh, it's the crackhead. He followed me over. Curious what I'm doing. I'm guess I guess. Come on. Da. 
There you go. Ah, an old sandwich. We're okay with that. I'll pass. Okay, let's turn these all into bone shivs. It does, I mean, it helps out your weapon crafting a little bit. I, I mainly just want a better bone shiv is what I want. And you can't scrap these, you just gotta dump them. Level 150. All right, we'll take that. I'll carve up a little better. Is this the end of the city right here? Man, this is a small city. Look how small this city is. All right, let's check out this. Another pig is right there. Let's check out this end over here. Got a car we can search real quick. Ah, bullet casings. Okay, cool. I tell you what, guys, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I'm getting like some flashing on my screen. And I'm wondering if that's about ready to crash. Yeah, I think the game's about ready to crash. So let me back out real quick. I'm going to restart the game and, uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Hoping that takes care of some of the flashing. It's still kind of going on. I don't know what's going on. It's definitely the game, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So... Hold on, I don't have a corrupt, corrupt save file. This is the uh, Shamway Foods. I don't know if I... That's not a bad one to raid because you... Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, working stuff. We're doing that one. All right, let's do that one. I say Shamway's not bad. Maybe to get some seeds going and stuff like that, but... Uh, we'll uh, we'll knock out the working stuff real quick. Oh, abandoned trader right next to it. Nice. All right. Uh, what do we got? Iron leg armor. Heck yes. And I can't repair that yet, can I? What's better? Leather is uh, 19 and 15 concussive and puncture. This is 18. And... Actually, the, the leather leg armor is better. Um, yeah. Sells for 91. I guess we'll sell that iron leg armor. Probably not the greatest ID in there? I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one should I wear? They're very similar in uh, in ratings. And I don't think either one really does better with mobility than the other one. I don't, I don't think so, at least. So. Alright. Oh, it's gonna be dark in here, isn't it? We got somebody in here. Did I bring my torches? I hope I brought my torches. Put some torches up. I can see what the heck I'm going on. Where are you going, Carl? I'm right here. We got a lot of zombies coming over, sounds like it. Oh, dude. Lost your head. What is going on? Uh, do we need to put a hatch up? We might need to put a hatch up. Need to see here real quick. Let me grab a hatch. Not that we really need it in this city, but I ah, will throw one up. It just makes it easier to deal with these these guys. Let's put it here. This one's easier to break down. Put it there, and I need a new stone axe, too. Let's craft a new stone axe. What level is this one going to be? 64. We're going up. Definitely uh, going up real nice. There you are. Come on in. Come on, Kurt. Oh, knocked him down. Anybody else out here? Or is this just you making all the noise, Kurt? Goodness. Takes a lot. I think he's in the abandoned trader. I think the, well, the other person's in the abandoned trader. Did I bring the torches? Uh, I don't think I did. Okay, that's all right. We'll make do. Let's see, one, two, three hits. We're not down to two hits yet on that. That's okay, though. Not down to two hits. We'll get there, though. More glass jars. Nothing. Yeah, I need my flashlight to see what the heck is going on here. There we go. And I know a lot of people yelling at me, like, make a mining helmet once you have the workbench, or just go to the trader and make a, and make a mining helmet. And I will, once I get that. Uh, we do need to go see the trader pretty soon sell some stuff and talk, talk to him. But we'll, we'll raid this city. We're going to have a lot of stuff to sell. We're going to have a lot of stuff to sell. Paper. Another short iron pipe. 
plastic parts that really don't need at this stage of the game. Really don't need them at all. Hey, a Mega Crush. All right, let's uh, link down all the get get on the way home or get home quicker. The lead, murky water, and turds. Okay. A level twenty-seven wrench. We could use that to make the workbench. Um, let's get rid of the plastic parts. We'll grab that. That's a good wrench to use for the workbench. You just want a crummy, crummy wrench for that. Blood bag. Um, I really don't need it. To, like eat right now or anything like that. But we'll grab it. Make some first aid kits once we get that unlocked. Murky water. A little more lead. Hey, a first aid kit. We'll grab that. Nothing there. Um, debating whether to lay down storage here or just run back and drop off. I mean, this is such a small city, but I think laying down storage will be smart if we want to do the abandoned trader. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I, I can't grab any of this stuff. Let's go. Um, let's put down a Ted chest real quick. Let's. Uh, and we need to drop. I'll drop these three glass jars. Let's grab a. Make a tent chest real quick. Find us a light pole. We'll put it right here. Boom. That way we can keep raiding. And we'll drink that make like so we'll drink that make a crush here in a second. Put all this stuff up real quick. Um, can I make uh let's just make something with that feather. One freaking feather is taking up space. Recipe is let's make an arrow. Boom. All right, we'll keep everything else. All right, cool. And uh, sh should I mark this on the map? Ah, I think we'll remember. Let's mark it on the map because that'll remind me that it's here. That's the only way I ever remember if, if I mark it on the map. And we'll use uh, this one there. That way we know. Yeah, because this is all good stuff here. I mean, chainsaw blade, calipers, a door. That's pretty good stuff right there. So don't want to leave that behind because uh, I know people will get mad at me. No, <laughs> I am trying to play as another metal door. I am trying to play a little better in that regard. Try not to leave as much behind because I have learned, you know, the longer, the more I play, the longer I play in the game, the longer playthroughs you do. It's amazing how much of this stuff you need later on. And you run back to all your storages Thinking like, man, I really hope there's brass. I really hope there's lead there. So, um, save it all. That's what I say. Save it all in the in the in the Ted chest. Okay, I went in and cracked into all these boxes off camera, so we don't have to do it. Um, be nice and boring. Look at that, a sledgehammer. Now, I don't want to use this against zombies. Uh, I've done that enough lately, but I can use it to break into stuff. That's the way I see it. But I've used the sledgehammer enough lately. I really don't want to. It's just a little OP. And I'm trying to... What I really like to do with this playthrough, and what I've said a couple times, but I'd really like to go knives. I like to go knife guy with this playthrough. Ah, uh, crappy battery, mechanical parts. Hey, there's an anvil. I don't have to craft an anvil now. He's outside. I cracked into this safe. Or I dropped it on the ground, basically. Uh, sniper rifle schematic. Uh, pistol receiver and some paper. Okay. Not bad. I like getting the anvil and the sledge. I'm going to bring that down, like I said. Oh, I thought somebody was in here. Oh, my God. I saw my... I'll, I'll use that to crack into stuff, like I said. Um, breaking the doors, etc., etc. Yeah, there's somebody in there. That's where they are. Sound really close. Grab the egg. Nothing in there. I will grab the short arm pipe. I don't really need the coffee, though. Lead. Cool. There's the ladder. If I remember where that's at. Ah, we'll eat the food. Why not? We'll scrap that can. Cool. Anything else up here? Nope. Okay. One thing I've been trying to get better at is remembering where the, remembering where the ladder was. It was two to the left. So you can to the of the trash can. So there it is right there. 
Cool. Uh, what else do we got over here? She's right there. I'd like to raid this abandoned trader. I'd like to come back and do the Shamway, too. Because, like I said, you can't get seeds or just, you know, food in general to be able to turn into plants. So let's, um... Let's grab as much as we can. I don't need the broken glass. I don't need that. Man, two calipers. They sell for 400 a piece. That's pretty good. All right, she wants to dance. But yeah, I'm going to try to hold off on using the sledge. It's just, I've been using it in the contractor, and it's like one hit kills. Even on warrior difficulty, and I'd like to go knife guy. I did that in the sheriff series, and I had a blast with knife guy going knives, especially if I can find the machete. And yes, Ted, I'll try to do a little better about looking for the machete at the trader. I know last playthrough, I missed it a couple times at the trader. I missed the machete there, so I will try to. They they do appear at the trader or in tree stumps. It's about the only two places I know that they show up in. You might find one in like maybe a weapons bag or something like that, but they're pretty hard to find. So I'm going to keep my eye out for a machete. But getting the forge going and getting forge iron crafted will let me craft a hunting knife pretty early. That's going to be a good one to raid. We'll raid that one. That's a good... Uh, I like to make a pickaxe, but now that we have the sledgehammer, getting into places like that should be a little easier. I can put some points into breaking, breaking and entering, so... Pistol grip, blue shirt. Um, I don't have a cooking grill. Let's, um, I tell you what, let's drink the Mega Crush. Get rid of the glass jar. Uh, get rid of the glass jar. <laughs> oh, I have brass now. Darn it. Uh, let's get rid of the paper. Let's get rid of the cloth. I want that cooking grill. And the pistol grip, I'm just going to scrap. I can't, I can't, uh, I have no space. And yes, I know I could make a cooking grill in the forge, but eh, let's save some. We'll save it. Save the resources. Ah, another egg. Nice. That's what I want, so I can make some bacon and eggs. And there's still a little bit more of the city we haven't explored. Uh, that top corner and this bottom corner over there. So let's drop off loot, and I'd like to explore the rest of this city, just so we know what we have. Pop in here real quick. So uh, let me drop off loot, and then we'll go check out what's over there. All right. Like I said, we just have this little corner over here, and I don't think it's much. A little western store right there. There's a general store right there. Another general store here. These are good. These are good raids. You can usually get some good stuff out of there. Ah, here we go. A popping pills. All right. So we have three of the five stores. Is there five stores or there's four stores? There's what Poppin' Pills, Shotgun Messiah, um, Shamway, and Working Stiff. Am I missing one? So there's four. Okay, so Poppin' Pills. This looks like Buzz's bar. Ah, we have a uh, a passing gas. I guess that could be considered the fifth store. I guess. Let's see if they have a workbench in here. This has got some good uh. Good people eyes in it. Uh, we got to deal with Mo. Dang it. Uh, let's deal with him now. You even notice me? You even notice me, Mo? You even know I'm here? Uh, okay. And I have one iron arrow. Let's use that up. And I got some steel arrows. We'll switch to those. We'll switch to those. Oh, come on. Ow, Mo! That hurt. I can't believe that. I, I tried that twice. What, does that happen to you guys? Trying to switch to arrows and it doesn't switch? Oh! You're right here. God, you're ugly. Even uglier up close. Oh, uh, there's a deer running. I was like, what is that? Running. Oh, guys, you're killing me. Literally. Nothing. Oh, how many zombies we got to deal with? Okay, let me just see if there is a workbench here. Um, I do not see one. 
I think this is the non-workbench one. Okay, cool. Let's skedaddle. Let's leave the... Oh, there's a bear. Oh, my God. Oh, I think he I think he sees me. Oh, no, he didn't. I just heard him grunt. Okay. Oh, my God. What's up with bears lately in this playthroughs? I mean, we had one in the contractor. I had one last episode of this series. Oh, my God. Enough of that. I'd like to take him out. I wouldn't mind luring him to my base and taking him out for the meat, but I do not want to deal with that right now. Okay, what else do we have? All we have left is the top right to explore. Over here. Um, I really don't have a lot of time. Now I kind of wish I still had that Mega Crush. <laughs> That's okay. Let's go a little bit top right over here. I just want to see what's left of this city. Just out of, mainly out of curiosity. What is... Oh, I thought that was a bee. Something floating up there. Ah, skate park. Okay. I really don't see these inside cities that much. That's a good raid. It has a couple uh, safes in it. This is a pretty cool city, man. I'm digging this city. I am digging this city. Another house. There's a, uh, whatchamacallit. Usually a safe on top of here. Hi, guys. Just passing through. That's all I'm doing. What else do we... Okay, we're at the top. Okay, all right. There's a little bit over here. Just a little bit. Oh, there's still more of this. Is that more city or is that road? There's just a little bit over here we haven't explored. Crawling, Lieutenant Dan. Looks like it's all residential. That's what it looks like. But hey, we have the poppin' pills and the shamway we can raid, and plus all those general stores. We also need to start thinking about a horde base. Oh, uh, it does go a little further over here, doesn't it? That's a decent-sized city. Okay. I thought it was one of those... Tall, skinny cities, but this is a decent-sized city. What do we got here? Another house. All right, we got to head back quick. Is there a particular horde base you guys want to see me attempt? Uh, we've seen... The contractor recovered several different horde bases. So is there another one you'd like to see me attempt? Uh, you want to see me do another pit style? Do you want me to see... Uh, where I try to get the zombies to come up a little bit, maybe get fall damage. Uh, do you want to see a melee-only horde base? Is there anything you guys want to try? I have a couple ideas up my sleeve that I wouldn't mind trying. The problem is in this alpha, if you get too intricate, then you run the risk of it not working at all. Like, like in the tower, the tower build that I had. And the builder did not work at all. Uh, you know, bringing them up to tower, so... You gotta be a little careful in this alpha of what you try. So that's the only thing I'm a little, little nervous about. But, like I said, anything you want me to see me try, let me know. I'm all yours. Love to try something different. Let's close this up. I still do have the loot I need to go grab, but we'll go do that um, Shamway Foods tomorrow, I think. Let's grab our anvil. Let's grab our stone. And our, where is, I'll grab these doors too. I'll put these doors up. Grab our cooking grill. So we'll put our anvil in here. So that's done. Um, and then we need to make... I'd like to make some iron arrowheads, for one. How many can I make total? 137. Let's just make, like, 50. And I'll turn the rest into forged iron. 17. I need more iron in there. How much iron do we have? Probably we have 510. Let's just throw all that in there. We need the we need the iron in there bad. Boom. Okay. And I haven't made a campfire yet, so let's do that. Bring that bad boy down. Now let's put the campfire here. Let's get rid of this coffin. What do we have here? Oh, I left all this stuff here. I didn't know I left all this stuff here. Well, shoot. 
Okay, let's throw our cooking grill on there, and let's throw our cooking pot on there. Like, yay. Okay, we're set there. And then we can put these metal doors. A little added protection. Right there. Cool. Maybe if I can get rid of that. My god. A little added protection there. Let's put the other one over here. If I can. Can I put it here? Will that open right? Yeah, that'll open right. Kinda. That works. Okay, cool. Goodness, a lot going on. Okay, and then, like, if the forge iron crafted, I like to make some tools. I like to make some tools, and what am I doing skill-wise? We have 10 available to, to blow here. Um, we can't do sexy Rexy anymore. Pummel Pete's already taken up. I could do breaking and entering since I have the sledge. Um, Miner 69ers taken up. Treasure Hunter. Let's do breaking and entering since I have the sledge. That's going to be nice to have. Cool. All right, guys. Like I said, I think I'm going to tin the forge tonight. And just kind of take apart some stuff. All this is wood. I'd like to find some iron in here, maybe, uh, to take apart. What is... Can you go all the way up there? No, you, that'd be cool if... Oh, there is something up there. Oh, it says... You can see the stars. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like the design of this. I really like it. But maybe I can take apart some stuff in here. I have the wrench... This is all 4,000 hit points. I'm not going to get anything out of that. Okay, whatever. What I might do is just work on some stones outside then. Some stones out right outside. I got some small small boulders out here I'll work on. So, All right, guys. That's the end of the episode. Thank you for all the support. And please let me know what horde base, if you have any ideas, what you want me to try. Like I said, I'm all ears. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.